I've been th I have been thinking for a couple of weeks to give the American yields a new tank, small tank, so I can observe them better and make sure they eat, because I'm not sure they eat much or anything. And they've been here almost a month now. So I decided to break down this 240 gallon tank, rehome the Tiger shovel nose, uh, I mean the Tig, uh, Tigger and his catfish into the neighboring tank. I will try and leave the high fin Chinese loach in here, but if the yields bother him, I'm going to put him in the other one also. The uh, marble, marble longfish will have to go because I want to put Louis here also. Louis, the South American lung and I may have to move the just to just to give the yields and the uh, and the lungfish full tank I might want to move the divider and the gulper catfish out of there too so as I said the tigs the four tigs would go here there is one more tig in here doing well I just need to make uh, create more spaces for them to stay away from each other as they don't like each other, of course. And there is also a West African longfish in here, so I cannot put the marble, marble longfish in here. They, they will not like each other's company. Breaking down this tank was another uh, possibility, but I decided against it. Alright, so... Uh, Louis, the big gray intestine, We'll go in there and the five American yields from the 1800 will go in there and then you tank okay so that's the plan all right reshuffle is complete Lou is here and the five yields are here too they look good no damage on them look at them Looks nice. They look nice, and they already look more bold or bolder than they were in the 1800 gallon, where they were hiding desperately between the rocks. Okay, I left the Chinese loach here for now, and the pleco. I'm still thinking where to relocate. Triple G, the gulper. Alright, the, the marbled longfish is in here. In this tank now. Hopefully nobody bothers them. When the other one, the West African lung was young, we put it in this tank and somebody was bothering it quite a bit. But, but uh, the marble is now ten times bigger than that one was. Another one from Mike and Amanda. This guy hid in a decoration and crawled out and was, was almost dry. I think Mike discovered him in his garage several hours later, crawling around. I think it's a weather loge, loge uh, just albino or leucistic. So his, his whiskers are dried off fell off and some of the finish is damaged but he's doing pretty good for for a dead fish crawling all right uh, yeah the four the four tigs from this tank went to the opposite tank on the other side there's still a little stress stressed a little bit even though it was a one second carryover from one tank to the, to the next. So they haven't found their spaces yet. One of them is right now in there. This is the old tig that lived in this tank all this time. These are the hides I prepared for them. Hopefully they will like them and use them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least seven hides. Should be, should be enough, but we'll see. For now they've been sitting 
right here for the last several hours. Okay, so that's our little update. I don't know what that was about. Some water splashing somewhere. Uh, this is the 1800 without Lungi, without the Lu uh, Louis the Longfish and the and the five American eel. I'm still working on it, cleaning it from the inside. Here, yeah. look at these two: female dovei and female jaguar. That's the first time I see that. That means the spring is coming. I've never seen them fight before. They keep to the to separate ends of the tank. Come on, girls. You have nothing to fight for, really. break it up or something. I don't like when fish fight. That leads nowhere. Okay, so that's all again, once again, our little update. And the reshuffle of, uh, of about three tanks. When it steps is out in the open, the bigger one is down there. I don't know, this guy hasn't eaten yesterday. Again, they, they start, they're starting to worry me. Something's not right. I kind of lost them in the same fashion two times before. Anyhow, here are eels. I just saw one of the eels was swimming right with its head right by the output of the pump. I'm hoping he's not looking for a way out. It would have been much more convenient to take, to get out of the 1800 gallon, but they never tried. I need to weight down the leads too. I mean, this this guy is a master SKPs. I have nothing right now there. I'm gonna put some boards and and rocks on the top. And we'll go from there.